This slide is taken from uh, G8271, one of the ITU standards that talks about delivery of time and phase over telecom networks. And this is really, really high level view of some of the requirements that we have um, going right from uh, at the highest level, sort of half a second. So we're talking about being phase ready and talking about Martin slides this morning, less than a microsecond. This is at the other end of the scale, but the application there is appropriate. So we're only concerned with billing. I think there's an Ofcom, there's a license requirement to be within half a second for those purposes, but then right down to the requirements that are still under study at the bottom. Um, IP delay monitoring, the second class, the ITU has tried to split all these accuracy, uh, accuracy requirements into different classes of accuracy, different levels of accuracy. So again, this is something that the ITU is looking at um, standardizing. Um, IP delay monitoring, typically prior to sort of metro ethernet, carrier ethernet, large scale deployments, typical data networks, if you can call them that, were looking at using NTP for IP delay, and IP SLA monitoring, using NTP version three, which would give you sort of milliseconds, tens of milliseconds of accuracy. But um, as things have moved forward, there are stricter requirements, tighter requirements on those. So that, that's what the ITU is calling class two. And then some of the requirements that we, we saw earlier this morning that Martin touched upon, going down into the single handful, few microseconds of accuracy requirement. And, and these, these ones at the bottom are, this FFS means for further study. That's ITU speak for, we haven't decided yet. It's been parked, we're still talking about it. Um, the particular problem the ITU has been having is um, assembling these requirements from other standards bodies. So the ITU, the um, standardization process has within it um, a, a liaison mechanism where they'll formally request information from other standards bodies, whether it's IEEE, whether it's 3GPP. So this is the work that's starting to settle at the moment. So again, Martin, keep mentioning your slides. You did such a good job this morning. You had um, 500 nanoseconds on there, half a microsecond, but still, I think some discussion between what operators want um, and what backhaul providers, what other operators think they can provide, what mobile operators want and what the backhaul providers think they can provide. So it, it, it's gonna be microsecond, it's gonna be sub microsecond somewhere in that region. <clears throat> so we'll have a look uh, at some of those LTE advanced features that talk about those, but just be aware that it's not, it's not set in stone at the moment.